Hi Canterbury Park followers, this is Kelsey Burns. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about where all these horses go after the meet. So it's been a long summer here at Canterbury and we have about uh, two weeks left. Um, the last load of horses should be leaving the end of September. And I get a lot of questions, what happens next? So where do these horses go? There's about a thousand horses here on the grounds. Um, a lot of these people go back to where they came from, so a home base or they follow the circuit. So for my barn example, the Joel Burnt Barn, we're Chicago land based. Um, our home is in Chicago. So our Minnesota breads will get a good break this winter to keep them fresh for the, the Minnesota meat. Um, the rest of them will go with us to Delta Downs in Vinton, Louisiana. And a lot of them will just get turned out, do nothing, just be a horse. And then there's that small percentage that are, are retired from racing and no longer going to make it. So when that happens, um, my dad will tell me, hey, this horse is done, um, time for him to find a new home. So I'll get some pictures and some videos and look for a new home. And when I, when I rehome these horses, I look for a good personality, a very quiet temperament, um, soundness, and then I have um, some people looking for, for jumpers. Um, that's my biggest market right now is the jumping, um, eventing, dressage, and a very small amount of people do some barrel racing. Honestly, most people are on the East Coast looking for these horses and unfortunately we're in the Midwest so they usually have to buy or FaceTime with me and, and call me and then we kind of make a deal and then I put them on a trailer and, and send them their way. Um, which sounds a little intimidating to most people but um, once you make a good connection and, and get to know some people and a lot of mutual friends, they recommend, you know, Kelsey's got lots of horses for sale, you know, check her out. And that's helped me a ton. It's taken me a long time to, to be able to do this successfully and get them all into good homes. Um, so a little bit about me, I ride as well. I love off-track thoroughbreds. I think they're the best breed there is. They can do everything. They're so versatile. They can do English riding, Western riding, polo, uh, ranch work, anything. Anything you want to do, a thoroughbred can do. You just have to find one that's, that's your preference and what you're wanting to do and a good temperament to do it. Um, so I got my very first horse, which was an off-track thoroughbred at eight years old. Her name was Pointer. Um, I actually learned how to ride on her. My dad uh, got her for me and, and put me in a round pen and said, figure it out. Um, and I did. I don't recommend that to everybody because it is a bit challenging if you don't know what you're doing. But luckily he guided me and I, I learned and she taught me and we kind of grew together. But um, she was my first one and I'm 24 now and I've had about 15 off the track thoroughbreds. And all of, I've ridden and taken off the track and then I found them great homes. That's my biggest passion in, in life right now is, you know, I take these racehorses that make my family great money and, and once they're done, they, they still, we still have so much respect for these animals and we hold on to them until they find that home. We don't, you know, just drop them off or, you know, say we don't care about them because we do. If you're looking for an off-the-track thoroughbred here at Canterbury Park, um, you can contact me. I'll leave my contact information below. We also have some great aftercare organizations that work with the racetrack. Um, I'll also list those in this at the end of this video for you to contact them. Um, a lot of them take these horses in, like I said, how I do, and, and a lot of them need some rehab, and they do a great job rehabbing them and, and rehoming them as well. And they are based in Minnesota, so they'll be here throughout you know year-round. Unlike me, who I, I travel unfortunately year round, so I, I'm only here from May to September to rehome horses, but they're here all year round. And if you'd like to make a donation to support these great animals in their aftercare, that would be wonderful. Um, they could use all the help they can get, and I'll also include that information as well.